Australia may be one step closer to becoming a global leader in tidal energy after a successful trial in Queensland. A tidal turbine in the port of Gladstone is now pumping electricity into the grid with the ability to provide power to homes and industry. Reporter Laura Gartry has more. Tidal power is all about what lies beneath. Turbines secured in free-flowing waters convert kinetic energy into renewable power. A one megawatt turbine can power somewhere between 600 and 800 homes. Australia has long been touted as a hotspot for ocean energy, with tides in Queensland and across the top end rising and falling as much as 11 metres. Australian companies have spent decades trying to find a cost-effective way of harnessing it, with turbine prototypes trialled in Tasmania, Sydney and Japan. Tidal energy could put into the mix about 3.2 gigawatts of tidal power. At a conference in Perth this week, leading experts heard a commercially ready turbine in Gladstone is sending power into the town's grid. We know exactly what velocity of water is going to be moving through the port and that means we know how much electricity is going to be produced. The predictable nature of tides is the sector's biggest advantage and ports with connections to the grid are considered ideal to host them. Our focus is beyond Australia. We see a vast number of these sorts of locations in Southeast Asia. Ambitions for turbines go beyond ports and marinas, with researchers looking at remote coastal communities where a farm of tidal turbines could offset diesel generators or stabilise the power supply. Australia arguably has probably the largest uh, resource of ocean renewable energy of any country in the world. The Gladstone trial has been closely monitored for environmental impacts. So far there's been no evidence to suggest that there's any negative impact on the marine life. Each two metre turbine powers about one household. Laura Gartry, ABC News.